Good day, I'm Lorraine Mendez and this is your JIS News for Tuesday, October 26. Prime Minister Andrew Holness is calling on health professionals to increase their engagement with the public about COVID-19 vaccines. Mr. Holness asserts that vaccine hesitancy has been taking hold, as citizens are not making the link between being inoculated against the coronavirus and their personal health. As a result, he's urging doctors, nurses, medical scientists and institutions such as the University of the West Indies to step up their public education on vaccination. The public narrative, unfortunately, is being shaped by quacks, false prophets, pseudo-intellectuals and people who are deliberate in misleading the public. And we must never cede the space of the public mind to those persons. If the society is going to get through this, not just safely health-wise, but mentally as well, with an improved knowledge of these threats that exist, we need to see our experts out there in the forefront combating the nonsense that is being placed in social media. Prime Minister Holness was speaking at the handover of the genome sequencer machine on Friday. The Minister of Agriculture is expanding its support for young people pursuing training and other engagements in the industry. $120 million has been allocated to the College of Agriculture, Science and Education case as part of a commitment to facilitate development within educational institutions. Additionally, the ministry will be providing irrigation systems valued at $2.8 million to primary schools. This will be done through a collaboration with the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization and the Jamaica 4-H clubs. The disclosure was made recently by Minister with Responsibility for the Portfolio, Audley Shaw. He was addressing the 2021 Rio Tinto Alcan Legacy Fund semi-virtual scholarship presentation ceremony hosted by the Jamaica 4-H Clubs. According to Minister Shaw, the Agriculture Ministry has also partnered with the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, to establish a new agri-processing laboratory at the Nakalva Polytechnic College in Hanover. The ministry is also providing advanced training in business development and management, a startup grant of $50,000 and up to six months of business coaching. This will be provided to participants in the Rural Youth Economic Empowerment Program. The Statistical Institute of Jamaica Statin says the country's inflation rate for September 2021 was 2.3%. This is largely due to a 3% increase in food and non-alcoholic beverages, the heaviest weighted division of the Consumer Price Index, CPI. Director General of Statin, Carol Coy, says vegetables, tubers, plantains, cooking banana and pulses increased by 9.9%, resulting from higher prices for some agricultural produce, such as tomato, cabbage, carrot and sweet pepper. Other notable increases in the food group were fruits and nuts, which went up by 4.3%, meat and other slaughtered animals, which went up by 0.9%, fish and seafoods increasing by 0.9%, oils and fats also up by 0.9%, and cereal and cereal products increasing by 0.6%. Ms. Coy was speaking recently at the agency's quarterly press briefing. Pointing to the transport division of the CPI, she says the 8.1% uptick in this area was influenced by the 15% increase in bus, route taxi and hackney carriage fares. This movement was, however, tempered by lower petrol prices. The 0.8% increase in the housing, water, electricity, gas and other fuels division also contributed to the overall inflation rate. Meanwhile, the education division moved up by 2.4% due to a rise in tuition fees at the start of the 2021-2022 academic year. The point-to-point -point inflation, which is September 2021 compared to September 2020, was 8.2%. And this was influenced by point-to-point -point inflation rates for the other divisions, food and non-alcoholic beverages 10.2%, transport 13%, housing, water, electricity, gas and other fuels 6.6%. The Consumer Price Index, CPI, measures changes in the general level of prices of consumer goods and services purchased by private households. The Ministry of Justice is looking to invest over $100 million to complete the acquisition and distribution of the new SEAL design for Justices of the Peace, JPs. 
The seal, which will no longer have parishes engraved on it, will allow JPs to extend their services across the island without restriction of parish of residency. Since January of this year, the ministry began making amendments to all Justice of the Peace regulations to introduce the new seal. Director of Public Law, Restorative and Preventative Justice in the Ministry, Julia Moncrief Wigan, says full operation by all JPs is expected by March 2026. With the expansion of the jurisdiction of the role of the Justices of the Peace, the new seal design will not have the parish, but will have the title Jamaica on the seal itself. And so the ministry has intends over the next five years hoping to conclude by March 2026 to invest over $100 million in changing out the old seal design. Mrs. Moncrief Wigan was speaking at a recent JIS think tank. She says as the process to implement the new seal continues, the old seal that has the parish continues to be valid. And finally, by the last quarter of the 2021-2022 financial year, the Justice Ministry will be rolling out an email address database for Justices of the Peace, JPs. This to provide online access to JPs as part of the Ministry's mandate to improve justice services for all Jamaicans. So the email address, it will have the first name of the Justice of the Peace, the last name of the Justice of the Peace, and then at jp.gov.js. Justice Minister Delroy Chalk points out that a list of JPs is available on the ministry's website and persons can use the site to verify the correct spelling of JPs' names for the email addresses. If you want to contact a JP who you know by name, mm -hmm. the person name might be AB. So it's just going to be AB at jp.gov.jm by email. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Lorraine Mendez. Thanks for watching.